everybody on YouTube, this is Andre Scribble once again with another video for you guys. Uh, the recent video I made was about playing music on the Xbox One uh, with your phone or tablet or whatever you have. Unfortunately, that didn't work out because of, uh, well, if you watched it, you wouldn't know why. But I did figure out you can plug in your, your tablet, uh, not your tablet, your console, your laptop, your Chromebook, like what I demonstrated with, MacBook, just whatever you have, uh, into the back of the Xbox One with the HDMI. With the HDMI, you're able to do that. That works perfectly fine. If, and if you're a Spotify user, of course, you're, you're going to want to do it that way. I am a Spotify user, so that's what I would have to do to play music. Um, but for this method, this is to make it much easier on everybody, except the downfall for it is it does not work for Spotify. It's, it's not, it, not any use for me, but this is for people who does have music download it on their phone or tablet. So, let me show you. Uh, there is this app called Allcast. I don't know if you can read it. Yeah, there you go. Allcast. So all you're going to do is just press it from there and you're going to, it's going to search Xbox System OS. That is the uh, name of your Xbox One. Then up here you're going to go to Audio. Okay, so for my tablet, like what I said, I am a Spotify user, so I don't download music on my tablet or my phone. I just I, I just use Spotify, so this is no use for me. Um, although, hold on, there we go. Although there are people, of course, who does use their phone or tablet for uh, music storage. And so I downloaded two Rucka Rucka Ali songs uh, for this demonstration because I know Rucka w uh, lets people use their songs, republish them on YouTube and all that, so I know he won't be copywriting and all that stuff on this video because he wants people to download his songs. Okay, so I downloaded two of his. I don't know what the unknown is. That doesn't work, so don't worry about it. But I downloaded two of his songs to make an example. So, all you have to do, I mean, first you do have to have your Xbox snapped, as you can see up there. Uh, there we go, yeah, I have Battlefield 4, and I have the music snapped on the side. Uh, yeah, so I'll, here I'll just say it. Xbox unsnap. Xbox unsnap. Okay, now it hears me. Xbox, snap Xbox music. Okay, so now it's snapped on the side. It's connected to my tablet. And so all you have to do from here is just play the song that you want to play. So we'll go to the first one, Make It Fun, Justin Bieber. Uh, and this isn't the full song, it's just a demonstration, like the 30 second preview or whatever. So once when you press the song, it's going to start it up. So let me show you that. And it does take a minute for the first song to start up. So I'll let me press that again. Okay, let me try this again. Oh wait, I think for up here I need to press play. And sorry for the crappy quality, I'm using my Galaxy S3 phone, I'm not doing the auto frame, it's, I'm doing it myself, so, okay, press play. So, that is for my tablet, as you can see, now let me do Rebecca's Black High Day. There you go, it automatically did it. So I'm going to just pause that. And a uh, downside about this, as everybody knows, in order to listen to your music in any way, even if you were to play uh, with the Xbox Music app, you need to keep it snapped. 
if you unsnap it while the music's playing, it's just going to turn it off. And yeah, uh, this is really not convenient because if, if I tried playing it with it snapped and everything, it does not work out for me personally. Maybe everybody else is fine, but I mean, as at, at least everybody knows that there's two methods to play music now if you don't want to use the Xbox Music app. Uh, first video shows HDMI usage instead of using the TV for the HDMI in the back of the Xbox One. You can use uh, consoles or a 360 if you really want to, or laptop, Chromebook, MacBook, just whatever you have that's HDMI compatible, that's a console or PC or just whatever. Uh, this video, well, that yeah, that's for Spotify users if you do have Spotify or want to access your music that way too. This way is just to do it wirelessly from your phone or tablet to the Xbox, but it does not work for Spotify, so it is no use for me. It will be some use for some of you guys out there, so I hope this helped you. And if it did, please comment, rate, and subscribe to this video. Give it a thumbs up if it did help you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I will have the, uh, the app in the description for you guys. I'm not sure if it's for Apple. Uh, maybe it is for Apple users. But yeah, it's just called AllCast. And that's pretty much all you need to make it wireless and easy for you guys. Uh, again, please give a thumbs up if this helped you out. Um, can't wait for the next video. If you got any suggestions of what you'd like me to do, then go ahead and message me, leave a comment, just whatever. Alright.